I think I just found the very center of the back rooms and where it gets all of its power from. And I think it could change everything we know about the back rooms. Hey everybody, I'm Brugley, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about back rooms level 754, or the back rooms core, as it's more commonly known. This level is a power plant with a massive core in the very middle that provides power for all of the back rooms. This is huge for the lore. Hope you enjoy this explanation. Let's get into it, shall we? Level 754 is classified as a class 3 difficulty and is unsafe and unsecure with a decent entity count and the entire level looks like an expansive radioactive nuclear power plant that sprawls out for miles. There's actually an area outside of the factory, but I'll talk about that later. At the very middle of this huge power plant, there's a circular core area where all of the power that's generated is sent to, and then from that core, it's sent out to the rest of the backroom's levels. The actual power plant itself is nothing too specific or nothing too out of the ordinary. It's just a big factory, and everything seems to be fully functional and working, almost like it has a full staff that runs it, but there's nothing here doing it. It's almost like the factory is on autopilot. The plant produces so much power that its light bulbs shine at full brightness constantly, and its electrical outlets produce billions of joules of energy, and everything that evolves electricity is on steroids, pretty much. Some people claim that the lights are so bright they blind themselves, so I don't know about that, just don't look straight into the light, dummy. Anyways, the power plant has a complex and winding network of railways that goes through it. On these tracks and railways are electric car, train type things that barrel down them at high speeds. All of them lead to specific ports and specific stations inside of the facility, and you can get on them and travel throughout the level if you want to. These train cart things are very futuristic feeling, and they have a sleek interior design. If you get off a train and start walking around the facility, you'll notice that there's actually an empty, sleek look to everything. The floor is concrete, and there's pillars holding up the roof, and there's wires leading to different combustion chambers and stuff like that, and everything seems to be moving, but empty. It just feels weird, like you're not supposed to be seeing this. Maybe it's because you're 754 levels deep into an alternate reality. That might be why you feel weird. Anyways, the entire facility also has entities scattered throughout it, mainly hounds and facelings. Hounds typically like to hide out in this level in the darker spots as usual, so try your best to avoid those if you can. Now, there's actually a part of the level that's outside of the power plant that not many people know about. It's accessed by finding a set of metal double doors on the outskirts of this massive factory, opening them up and walking out. Once you open up the doors and walk out, you'll be greeted with a very weird sight. You'll see an infinite expanse of fields that sprawls out for as far as the eyes can see, but these fields are full of electrical towers and telephone poles. The towers are all different heights and lengths, but some of them have been reported to be over 50 miles tall, which is just crazy, by the way. The field itself is grass, and it's covered in a fog at most times, and so is the horizon and everything like that, so the visibility is not very good here. All you can see is massive electrical stations going out over grassy expanses for as far as your eyes can see. All of the wires from the poles and the towers lead back to the facility and into the core of the factory, which means that there's obviously a ton of wiring and stuff that you'll be able to see. In these fields, there also might be a hound or two hanging out in the mist, so watch out for that. You also might run into a skin stealer as well, so just tread carefully. An interesting quirk about this entire level is that internet speeds and radio signals work perfectly, almost like the factory boosts the signal of whatever device you're using. It's actually been rumored that some wanderers have been able to make contact with people outside of this level, which is huge because think about it, you know, cross-level communication would be amazing. It would be really good to have so people could communicate with each other and try to figure out exits to the back rooms. So if this is true, it might need to be researched. Now, all the stuff I just talked about, the factory, the core, and the outside area are all on the ground level, you know, the main part. But there's actually another area underneath all that that you're going to need to avoid and not get sent to. You see, in the middle of the facility, there's access to a sewer waterway portion of the level that's below the main floor. This entire underneath area is flooded with what looks to be almond water, and it carries strong electrical currents through it. So don't touch it unless you want to get literally cooked. The electric, by the way, comes from the broken wires that are sticking down into the water. 
there are multiple sewer and tunnel entrances from outside and inside to this specific flooded zone, and all of it leads to this one central overgrown area in the spot. So just avoid it all. Now, there's also a few other specific rooms that I talked about earlier, like generator rooms, storage rooms, and reactor rooms, which are all pretty much self-explanatory, but I'll go over them anyways, because that's what I do. The generator rooms have huge pieces of electrical equipment moving and running all the time. There's also computers here too, and there might even be a faceling running the computer. Storage spaces are huge rooms full of masses of cords and wires and other mechanical parts. They're really cluttered and massive, and you could probably get lost in them if you weren't careful. You could get tangled up in the cords and get stuck, I don't know, rooms with the reactors inside. These are the largest source of power in the level, and it's where most of the power comes from. These are located inside of the main factory, and again, they send everything to the core of the level. And every single piece of equipment that produces energy in this level all sends the electricity back to the core. To enter this level, you can find the entrance actually in the hub, which is very rare by the way, but if you find it, it might be a white and blue door. To exit, you'll actually get sent out of the level if you're in a room and all the lights go off. So if the lights go off, you'll be sent out, and it's almost like the level chooses who it sends out. I don't know. Pretty cool. But yeah, that was the overview of the factory and the outside area and everything else. Do you think that this level powers the entire back rooms, or do you think it's just another random level with no real meaning? Personally, I think that it gives tons of power to all the back rooms, and the electrical poles and the reactors and everything all send stuff to this core area where the power can then be output, and all these twisty knobs and stuff like that can send the power to specific levels. I could be wrong, who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're looking for some merch to rep this summer while you're going out and about, check out my Brugly merch store, which will be in the description below, and it's on my channel tab and all that stuff. I think the design on there is super cool, and I really appreciate the support on this drop. I am going to be doing another summer drop soon, so stay tuned for that. Go check out the store if you want something right now before I release this new drop. It's limited time. It's about to go away, so check it out if you want it. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope you're enjoying all these backroom levels explanations. If you have any ideas for any series I should do or anything like that or specific levels I should go over, comment them in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Also, I'd appreciate it if you checked out my vlog channel below. I am trying to get to 100K by the end of the year on there, and we're already halfway there, so I appreciate that. I record and vlog and do Q&As and live stream over there, so if you want more of a personal side of me, that's where you'll find it. I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love and appreciate all of you and I will see you on our next step of the journey of exploring these backrooms levels. Peace.